This is Chris with iPhone in Canada. One of my favorite changes in iOS 5 is Notification Center. With a simple swipe down from the top of the screen, you get previews of texts, emails, reminders, push notifications from apps, and much more. But as we've seen time and again, developers in the jailbreak community are able to make functions even more powerful and useful. Notification Center is no different. So here are my top five tweaks for Notification Center. The first one I'd normally recommend is SB Settings, but since I already included it in my last jailbreak, video, I'll skip over it, but if you don't have it, make sure you get it. The first tweak is Blurried Notification Center Background. On the stock Notification Center, when you bring it down, it's a slight gray type look. Visually, it's not that appealing, but with this tweak, you can change it. Once installed, when you activate Notification Center, you'll see it blurs your screen's background. As is, it looks really cool, but you can customize it even more. Go into your settings, scroll down until you find Blurried Notification Center Background, tap on it, and it brings up the settings. First, you can add less or more blur simply by using the slider. Now of course, you can preview it by activating Notification Center. Along with the blur, you can add color. There are plenty of choices to choose from. We'll try red right now. As you can see, it adds a red tinge to your blurred effect, and with the slider, you can change the color's opacity. My next addition is Wii Flashlight. It adds flashlight control to Notification Center. Of course, for this tweak, you will need an iOS device with a flash. When downloaded, go into Settings and then Notifications. Now scroll down to find Wii Flashlight. You can tap on it, and that'll turn it on in Notification Center. Then you can drag it wherever you want. Then when you pull down, you'll see you can tap to turn on the flashlight, or you can turn it off. Next is a tweet to let you control your music player and even let you tweet out what you're listening to. It's called Music Center. Now once downloaded, you go into your notification settings to enable it. From there, you can go into your regular settings and scroll down to Music Center. That's where you can change your preferences, including the tweet function. When you're in Notification Center, the Music Center tweet gives you two screens. Of course, one of them is your basic controls. The next shows you what's playing, and on this screen, you can tap and hold, and that's what brings up the option to open it up in your iPod app, or you can tweet it out. The fourth tweak is what I'll call some eye candy for Notification Center. It's called Slide Center. What it does is add a slideshow. As before, once downloaded, go into your Notification Center settings, find Slide Center, and enable it. Now, when you open Notification Center, you're presented with a nice slideshow featuring the pictures on your photo album. I will point out the pictures are cropped in the middle, so not all your pictures will look good, but you're probably not going to be spending a lot of time in Notification Center, so it really doesn't matter. And the final tweak I have is Calendar. Now, unfortunately, with Apple's Calendar in Notification Center, it doesn't show you an actual calendar. Well, this tweak does. Again, once downloaded, you must enable it from the Notification Center settings. Once you do, you have a nice looking monthly calendar. You can swipe through the months, nothing fancy, but I find it really useful when I need to look at a calendar. So there are my top five. There are plenty of more tweaks. I'd love to know some of your favorites. For more daily iPhone and iPad news, make sure to check out iPhone in Canada and iPadincanada.ca. This has been Chris with iPhone in Canada. Thanks for watching.